From the wheel to the sailing ship, the Mesopotamians were responsible for numerous inventions still used today. Ancient Mesopotamia was a powerhouse of agriculture and trade, giving rise to some of the most powerful empires and kingdoms the world has ever seen. During the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, a great number of inventions emerged from Mesopotamian civilization, many of them among the most important developments in human history. Ancient Mesopotamia was home to some of the world's first formal civilizations and cities formed by the Sumerian people, who controlled most of the region. This gave rise to a series of rulers and empires, some more infamous than others, including Gilgamesh, Sargon and the Akkadians, the Babylonians and the Assyrians. Throughout this time, Mesopotamia became a tremendous producer of art, literature, religion, and many other scientific and cultural activities. During the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, a large number of inventions emerged from Mesopotamian civilization. Welcome to the Myths and Curiosities channel. Already like it, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss any notifications. 10. Bricks the Mesopotamians were the first to mass-produce bricks, which allowed them to build the greatest civilization the world has ever seen. The earliest examples of this Mesopotamian invention date back to the 700 BC when the people of what is now northern Iraq formed settlements with buildings constructed of hand-molded, sun-dried clay blocks. These early building blocks continued to be used throughout the subsequent millennia, although they limited the size and stability of their structures. Thousands of years later, in the middle of the first millennium BC, kills, or kills, came into use as a means of mass, producing much stronger and more uniform bricks. King Nebuchadnezzar II, who ruled Babylon from 605 to 564 BC and led the conquest of Judah recorded in the Bible was a great patron of ovens. Determined to build the greatest city in the world, he sponsored the creation of thousands of bricks, many of which with your name and a protection message. 9. Cities with all these bricks, the Mesopotamians' building potential was practically infinite, and they applied it on a scale never seen before. Cities may seem a natural and ubiquitous part of human life now, but they only came into existence when natural changes forced disparate and nomadic peoples to come together in larger groups. Out of this necessity were born not only the settlements themselves, but also many of the pitfalls of urban life that persist to this day. These larger groups that settled together gradually organized governments, made laws, and began to form a social hierarchy. The cities themselves became more than just clusters of houses, building temples, public gardens, trading places, and administrative centers, with the surrounding land used primarily for agriculture to provide food for the inhabitants. The largest city in Mesopotamia was undoubtedly the Babylon which dates back to around 1800 BC and soon after expanded its boundaries to become a highly powerful city-state. It is perhaps most famous for its hanging gardens, built by Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife, who was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. 8. Beer From Written Records we know that Mesopotamian cities housed inns, taverns, and pubs, where travelers and locals gathered to socialize, eat, and enjoy a drink or two. These drinks were almost inevitably beers, which were available in many different variations, including golden, dark, dark sweet, red, and strained. This Mesopotamian invention was made with the same fermented barley base, with the flavor modified by the addition of emmer wheat, date syrup, or various other flavorings, although hops, a key ingredient in modern beer, do not seem to have been in use. In fact, the earliest evidence of beer comes from a 6,000-year-old Mesopotamian tablet, which shows revelers drinking from a large barrel with long straws. There are ongoing debates about the alcohol content of ancient beer, but the drink certainly made Mesopotamians happy, it was consumed at religious feasts, public ceremonies, and private parties, honored in songs and poems, and even used for pay workers' salary. So important was drinking to Mesopotamian culture that, in their great poem, The Epic of Gilgamesh, a character decides to emerge from nature and join civilization after drinking seven jugs of the drink. 7. Board Games to provide some entertainment while enjoying their brews, the Mesopotamians created a number of new leisure activities, including drinking games, dancing and musical performances, and board games. Evidence of the latter was found in the 1920s, when a British archaeologist named Sir Leonard Woolley unearthed several well-preserved examples of an ancient board game in some Mesopotamian tombs. 
Made in the middle of the 3rd millennium BC, the Royal Game of UR is considered the world's first strategic board game. It was played by two players, who raced to get their chips to the end of a course, moving them each time they rolled the dice and trying to catch each other's pieces falling on the same square. The game proved so popular that examples have been discovered as far away as Crete and Sri Lanka, and it is believed that the royal game of UR continued to be played throughout antiquity, eventually developing into a primitive form of backgammon. 6. Sail Early rafts and floating vessels formed the main methods of transportation and travel, but it was the Mesopotamians who revolutionized water travel by inventing sails. Since humans move around the world, but it was the Mesopotamians who revolutionized water travel by inventing sails. The very name of the region means between rivers, referring to the great Euphrates and Tigris, between which Mesopotamia was situated. The importance of these arterial routes meant that it was in the Mesopotamians' interest to find a way to navigate them quickly and efficiently. While the hulls were still made of wood and built in a similar design to the ships of the past, Mesopotamian ships had the unparalleled addition of sails, large squares of cloth that caught the wind and pushed them forward. Unlike later ships, the angle of the sails could not be changed, which meant that Mesopotamian sailors had to rely on a favorable wind to reach their destination. Sails were, however, intrinsic to the development of navigation in the ancient world. In addition to facilitating trade by allowing the transport of heavy goods, sailing ships also allowed the Mesopotamians to develop more sophisticated fishing practices. The larger, stable ships could navigate deeper and more treacherous waters, cast nets, and wait for hordes of fish to swim by. Along with expanding commercial opportunities, this led to prosperity and a better quality of life for those living in ancient Mesopotamia. Sailboats were so important to the culture that even got their own god, Shamash. 5. Cartography With individual communities becoming more and more powerful and people traveling farther and farther, the Mesopotamians began to consider the world as a whole and their own place within it. These contemplations resulted in the first world map, which dates from the 6th century BC and shows the world as a two-dimensional disk surrounded by a ring of water. Several cities and geographical regions, including Babylon and Assyria, are identified, as well as several mountains in the great river Euphrates, beyond which the tablet was unearthed two and a half millennia later. Although not a particularly useful tool for navigating by land or sea, the Babylonian world map represents a major advance in the field of cartography. The excursions of the armies and the voyages of the merchants allowed scribes to map the surrounding areas, and although there was no attempt to systematically map the entire region, the Mesopotamians introduced the concept to the world. 4. Time After they figured out how to capture and convey the concept of space, the Mesopotamians moved on to time. They developed the sexagesimal system by which the units of time are divided into 60 parts and their factors, which eventually gave us our 60-second minute and a 60-minute hour. It is also from the Mesopotamians that we inherit the 24 hours of the day and the 12 signs of the zodiac, corresponding to the lunar months. To adjust them to the number of days in the solar year, the Mesopotamians did not add leap days, but leap months. All this information was often displayed in circular calendars, the Mesopotamians were also the first to divide the circle into the 360-degree measure that is so important for modern mathematics and geometry. With the invention of the lunisolar calendar, which served as the basis for most later systems, the Mesopotamians founded and developed the very concept of time that is used to record, measure, and plan life today. 3. Dot writing and Literature Arguably the most important inventions in history, the Mesopotamians were responsible for the introduction and development of the written word cuneiform, which has its origins in the second half of the 4th millennium BC. Cuneiform, which literally means wedge shape and refers to the tools used to inscribe letters on the writing surface, was invented by the Sumers in Mesopotamia. It started as a pictographic system, it was first developed in Mesopotamia, with each symbol representing a specific object, person, action or idea, but later developed into a combination of alphabetic, syllabic and pictographic symbols. It is even thought that the cuneiform influenced later Egyptian hieroglyphics, modern excavations have unearthed more than a million cuneiform tablets, most one little bigger than an iPhone in size, of which only a small fraction have been read, translated, or displayed. 
The most famous and widely studied of the cuneiform texts is the Epic of Gilgamesh, a great poem generally considered to be the oldest literary work in existence. The story was found written on several tablets, discovered throughout the region, and tells the story of King Gilgamesh, who encounters and defeats a series of enemies before the death of his closest companion leads him to discover the secrets of eternal life. Although Gilgamesh never manages to find immortality, his name and glory live on in posterity, thanks in large part to the Mesopotamian invention of writing. 2. Administration and Accounting Cuneiform writing was not created with the direct intention of producing some of the world's greatest literature. On the contrary, the driving force behind the invention of the written word was far less exciting, early records indicate that it arose due to the need to keep accurate records of sheep sales. As travel opportunities increased and trade subsequently expanded, merchants and farmers needed a more reliable way to keep track of their products. Using a wedge-shaped pen and a tablet made of clay, stone, metal, or wax, the early merchants wrote down their products and sales listed what was sold, the quantity, the date, and the buyer. Later, in the larger cities, the uses of cuneiform extended to urban planning, contracts, and taxation. And so, although it may be associated with epic poetry and mysterious runes, the earliest writings found in Mesopotamia are actually just the first example of accounting. 1. The Wheel The most surprising thing about the greatest Mesopotamian, the wheel, is that it was initially designed to be horizontal. Instead of vertical on the underside of a cart or chariot, the first wheel was actually positioned sideways and used to help craftsmen shape their pottery. The potter's wheel has its origins at the same time as the cuneiform in the second half of the fourth millennium, proving that this was a time of great innovation in human thought and design. The potential of the wheel must have been evident to the Mesopotamians almost immediately, for they soon invented the first wheeled vehicles in the form of rudimentary wooden carts. The wheels were also made of wood, sometimes simply massive discs cut directly from tree trunks, but gradually they became more efficient, by cutting away much of the material and leaving only a crossmember and spokes to connect the center to the rim, the Mesopotamians made their wheels much lighter. Eventually, they also created the axle, which saved a lot of time and energy by turning the two wheels simultaneously, with force applied to the center stem. From simple carts, the Mesopotamians could then make chariots, which made them a formidable force in military conflicts. All these inventions prove how crucial the ancient civilization of Mesopotamia was to human history. The long history of cultural, engineering, and intellectual development in the region shows why it is often referred to as the cradle of civilization. Where would we be today without the wheel? The sailboat, writing, maps, or, let's be honest, beer. Leave your like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.